Welcome to No Man's Sky, everyone. Zoo from Zoo Games YouTube channel back here with you once again. And today we are starting a brand new playthrough in the new relaxed mode. So really quickly before we get into it, we, this is going to be kind of like a playthrough or walkthrough if you need a little help with the game or are looking for some early game tips. This video is for you, so keep watching. So the first thing we're going to talk about real quick is just what are these different game modes. So you got normal mode, and this is what the majority of players play in. And, um, you know, as you can see here, you know, it says what it is. Relaxed is basically an easier version of normal. Then you got creative. Creative is mainly meant to be for building. Like you don't really care too much about other parts of the game. You just want to you want to build freely and not have to worry about anything. Now, community expeditions, these are only available sometimes. These are seasonal game modes. So, it's like a special game mode that will come, you know, they get they give us one every couple months or so. And then you got survival. Now that's going to be your hardest mode and it is hard. So if you're looking for that hard experience, this is what you want to choose. But you also have custom guys. So custom allows you to set your difficulty settings however you like them. So really all of this survival, creative, relaxed, normal, it's all the same thing. So regardless of which one you pick, you will be able to play with players who play with other settings um so even if you customize your settings you're not going to lock yourself out of anything so we're just going to go with the default relax settings for this one so let's load in and i am recording this live guys so no edits uh even though this is not a live stream because i am right now probably at my hotel um maybe i'm watching this at the hotel who knows you might see me in chat but if you're watching this at a later date i pre-recorded this to go live at a certain point uh because i will be out of town for the for the rest of the week after today so i wanted to get this out there and um mainly because i'm curious about relax mode a bit and um, I also want to make a walkthrough and tips for all you new players out there. So whenever you start a No Man's Sky game, regardless of mode, it starts the same way. But the differences are the planet you start on, everybody starts on a different planet. So if you play in one of the harder modes, this can really matter because you could start on a very dangerous planet. Um, I would say if you do start on a harder mode and you just keep dying because the planet just has crazy storms or animals that are out to kill you, then just maybe start a new game. You'll get some better luck. But looks like we got ourselves a snow planet here. You can see a little, little guy walking over there. You will find plenty of animals in this game. It's probably one of the most fun things, I think, to find on, on planets is all the different types of animals. And there's really a lot. And there's some crazy, crazy ones. So here we are. We're in No Man's Sky. Now, first, remember, every planet in this game is procedurally generated. So they're all going to be different. All right. So I tried to shoot this. It's telling me to perform a scan by pushing C. I'm playing on PC, by the way. So it says I need ferrite dust. So where do I get ferrite dust? I get it from rocks. So if I shoot rocks, I'm going to get ferrite dust. Now, you can tell what you're going to get from any rock or plant if you just, you know, mouse over it. Some of the rocks you won't, like this one, for example, you won't be able to mine right away. Now, until we get the scanner fixed, you'll see those question marks, too, on the rock. Because the rocks will actually give you more than one um, element. So, okay, we have 75 ferrite dust to repair the scanner. So, if we press tab, we'll go into our menu here. And here's our multi-tool. Now, this is our main weapon and tool that we're going to be using throughout the game. Not that spe specific one. Uh, you can get better ones, but um, that's the first one, the multi-tool. Okay, so we're going to do a scan. What this is going to do is scan for certain things we might need on this planet. 
and what we need is sodium because sodium is going to recharge our hazard protection so that's one thing you always want to keep a good stock on hand sodium sodium oxygen um of course ferrite dust the hydrogen these crystals you're definitely going to need these so whenever you see those shoot those up But don't worry, guys. The whole game is not like this. All right, so now it just wants us to charge our hazard protection. So for this, we press the quick menu, which I believe on a controller is down, but on PC, it's the X button. And this little battery icon pops up. And if we uh, click that, we'll have some options here of what we can recharge. We're going to choose to recharge the hazard protection, which takes sodium. Okay, so we've recharged that. So, you know... We're exploring, we're looking around. You're going to find things on planets. And things like that are going to happen too. Which is going to take you to the next thing. But you're going to find like junk on planets that you can just pick up. So um, it's worthwhile when you first start checking these things. Because you can get some stuff that will help you out. Uh, very early game. Okay, so you see it, that signal came from that way. So that's where we want to go. Now, to make it a bit quicker, we're going to be doing a move called the Jetpack Boost. So, the way you do this is there's actually a melee button. So, if I hit Q on my keyboard, and I believe it's R1 on a controller, see how he throws his arm like that? So, if you're moving forward, what you want to do is you want to hit the melee and Jetpack and Sprint at the same time. And you'll do like a boost like that. And... You can move around much quicker. And once you get your jetpacks upgraded, you'll move even quicker. So, like I was saying, there's a lot of animals you're going to find on planets. All animals can actually be turned into pets for you. Um, you, can, you can tame them and have them as your pets and put guns on them and stuff if you want. There, there's some more sodium. I know I'm a little all over the place, but I'm trying to get in as many tips as I can here. Hopefully you all in the chat are typing some tips and leave some comments below uh, to help anybody who's new. So, yeah, you're on your way out to this signal. Keep looking for sodium and any oxygen. If your scanner is full, you can, you know, do a scan, which will show you a general direction. But, yeah, so the animals... Almost every animal in the game can be tamed and be, can be made to be your own. You could put guns on them. You could ride on them. You know, some of them are flying animals. So you can have flying mounts, really, in No Man's Sky. Okay, so we need to go interact with that thing. But before we do that, I'm going to grab up all this oxygen right here. Because oxygen is an important resource early. I mean, it, it contains, it, it stays to be important, but also these things, guys, check these out. The damaged machinery here. You can keep the goop if you want. Um, the goop refines into some stuff, but you can sometimes, we, see, we got 32, 32 nanites for that. Now, nanites are another form of currency. This game has multiple forms of currency, which we'll get into in a little bit. So, all right. Let's interact with this thing. Now, I don't want to give you guys spoilers in this, so I'm going to kind of skip over what it's saying so you can read it yourself. But you're going to want to hit broadcast. Okay. Now it's telling us to investigate the crashed ship. Okay, so let's go over to that. And basically, it's going to tell us that the ship's broken and we got to repair it. So we can read the log, do that if you want, or connect the suit. I'm going to connect the suit. Remember, one thing about No Man's Sky is n not a lot of things are required. I mean, this early bit, yes, you do have to fix the ship or you'll never get off the first planet. But a lot of things in the game, like that it may want you to read or something like that, they're not required. The way you keep track of what you need to do is you open your menu here you're gonna have a log 
And this log is gonna keep track. This is basically like if you ever play any MMOs, a quest tracker or something like that. You're, this is where the main story of the game is gonna appear. So you're gonna wanna focus on the missions up here first. And the secondary missions will appear down here. Now the secondary missions are more the type of things like do it when you feel like it. At this point, we're so early that we have no other option than to just keep doing that. See, it wants us to make a metal play plating, and we already have the ferrite dust to do it. So we're going to craft a metal plating. So to craft something in No Man's Sky, you can do it in your inventories. So either your ship inventory or your suit inventory. So all you do is you click in a blank slot, and if you have the blueprint, you can craft it. So there we go. We got a metal plating so we can start to repair the pulse engine on the ship, which needs the metal plating. So there we go. Our ship, it should be repaired. Sometimes it takes a second to like update and tell you what the next thing is that you need to do. Oh, we still need to fix the pulse engine. So we need a hermetic seal and we need pure ferrite. Okay. Um... Right? Is that what it wants us to do next? Let's... Hold on. I'm not sure if they change this up from the way it used to be. Okay. No, this is, uh... This is how it's always been. So it's going to take us to a location because we need to get a hermetic seal. Now, later in the game, you can craft the hermetic seal. Or maybe it's just going to give us the blueprint right now. Uh, gave us a planetary chart. Okay, now planetary charts. There's a lot of different types of them. Um, and they find different things basically on planets. This one looks for distress, I guess. So you can see way over there is where we need to go. Unfortunately, we're still on foot because we can't fly the ship. So we got to head out that way. And again, as we're going out there, you know, if you want, shoot rocks, get get yourself some ferrite dust. Um, we don't have a visor yet, so we can't really do any money-making things. Wow, there's a weird animal. You see those eyes popping out of the ground? Told you guys. There's no shortage of crazy creatures in No Man's Sky that you can come across. So... This is not the whole game. We're super early. Uh, haven't even barely hit the tutorial yet. So don't get worried. Uh-oh, we, we got a blizzard incoming. Now, storms can hurt you. Now, we are playing in relax mode, so they may be a little more tame than they are in normal mode or one of the more difficult modes. But... Oh, actually, uh, those red crystals are condensed carbon. So you're gonna you, you're gonna want to shoot those when you see them too, just like the blue ones, because you always te you end up needing this stuff, and it's better to just have it. Now, things like this you can find on planets. You can you can pick these flowers, and they're actually used in cooking ingredients. But you can you can also just eat them. And, it, and they do different things, like maybe give you a little jetpack burst or something. All right, so we'll do another scan. There's a, some more sodium over there. We actually don't... Our, ha our hazard protection, you can see it on the bottom left there. And it's going down a bit, but that's pretty, pretty slow. I think we'll be able to make it out there. But if you found that it was getting really, really low then you really need to get some sodium and recharge it. And if that's not an option, what you want to do is look for a building like something like this or a cave because they will protect you from storms. And once you get the terrain manipulator, which allows you to dig into the ground, you can dig your own hole straight into the ground and just see how temperature levels are stabilizing. Okay, we actually, though, we need to go into this one. Guys in the chat, make sure you leave, leave some good tips for people. Please. Thank you. And anyone who's pressed thumbs up, I very much appreciate it, even though I'm not actually here. I appreciate you all being here so much. All right. 
so we recover supplies. Now, this is the only time in the game you get a hermetic seal in this way. They're very common. It's not a rare item or anything, so I don't know why. It's just like this the first time. Oh, encrypted nav data. You're going to want that. And there's other little things you can interact with in buildings like this. And look, this just gave me 1,800 units. So keep an eye out for stuff like that. So, okay, so now it wants us to use the analysis visor to find our ship, but we don't have that. So we need to craft carbon nanotubes. So, oh, actually we need to be down here. And we don't have the carbon for it. So we need 50 carbon. So carbon is usually, uh, you can get it from trees or plants. Um, right, so it's going to be a little tough since we don't have... A visor. The visor, once we get that installed, then we can scan. Now, we do have some condensed carbon, but we need some actual carbon. These, This is not the... What was that? Oh, you see that? You see that animal just killed the other one. So the animals do interact with each other. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Rare find. Rare find. Somewhat rare. These are really cool. You can find things like this on some planets. Now, they don't always look the same, but they're kind of like living plants. I just think they have a really cool pulse. But if you shoot them, you're going to get a bunch of sulfurine. Now, at this early part of the game, you wouldn't need sulfurine. But what I can do is sell it. So that's why I'm going to get that for some early game units. All right, so what do we need? We need ca carbon, carbon nanotubes, plants to shoot. The plants on this planet are weird though. It's like some of them you could shoot, some of them are just for decoration. That's why the visor comes in so handy. All right, so these, you gotta watch out for these, but they'll give you oxygen, but they, they'll also snap your legs off. So watch out for planet traps like that. Now, plants like this will give you a jetpack boost. Maybe these stars are carbon. No, they are pure ferrite, which we also need. Um, but we can, we can make pure ferrite. Oh, the carbon is, they really spread it out on this planet. All right, let's see if that's enough. Okay, because what we needed to make were the carbon nanotubes. Okay, now that we have that, we need to make... Because we need to install this analysis visor. Okay. Now with the visor installed, now we can start scanning things. And scanning, guys, is something that's really important to do, and you're going to want to do it um, on all planets. You know, scan the animals, scan the rocks, scan the trees, because you get money every time you scan things. And later in the game, once you get your scanners... Uh, whoa! Huge worm! Sandworm! There are large worms in this game, if you didn't know. Now, at this stage in the game, you can't scan them and you can't tame them. Um, although there is a smaller version that you can have for a pet. That was a special reward for doing an expedition. So the expedition mode that I was showing you in the beginning, each expedition that comes out, they have... Uh, different re rewards and one of the rewards once was a rideable flying worm but yeah so okay you can see now we have a hud so while we have that all right so this is obviously my ship this like wi-fi icon this is going to be important that's buried technology module now in the early game you're going to be needing to dig these up on planets 
Now, some of this other stuff, uh, there's a cobalt deposit we could mine to get cobalt, which we could sell for money if we want to make some money. Copper, copper. But yeah, the visor allows you to see all this stuff that's on the planet, and you can tag it and run out to it and stuff like that. I will say this, guys. Um, I have played normal mode many times, as well as the harder modes. Uh, I haven't played this new game mode. I, actually... Wow, that's there right already? Oh, but we don't have the terrain manipulator. Because I was going to say, we'll get, get some of that cobalt just to sell. But I was going to say, this this um, relax mode, it's, it's pretty relaxed. Normal mode is a good bit harder than this. Not too much harder, but it's def you definitely don't get as much resources. You're going to be spending more time shooting rocks and stuff like that. So I actually think this is a great way to start out a new playthrough is in relax mode. And if you want, you can up the difficulty a little bit later. It's up to you. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. The launch thrusters are damaged. So that we, now we need pure fearite. So now is when refining comes into the game. So, by the way, guys, you might have noticed it said that it made a restore point. So, anytime you get in and out of your ship, your game is saved. Also, sometimes you'll find save points on planets, and you could use those to save. But also, the game auto-saves. So, if you ever need to reload and you go to your options here, you'll see you have a restore point. That was when I got out of the ship, and then an auto-save that just went off by, you know, just does it by itself. So, just something to be aware of. Okay, so it needs us to... All right, we have the dehydrogen... Do we have a dehydrogen jelly? Oh, yeah, we do. We have a dehydrogen jelly. That's what we need for the launch thrusters. So let's throw that in there. And now we need to make pure ferrite. So if we press our build, the craft button... We're going to have a portable refiner. And you can see I need to make a metal plating to build this. So we need another metal plating. Let's click in here. We have the ferrite dust to do it. So now we can build the portable refiner. Now, what we're going to put in here is ferrite dust. Now, maybe not all of it. I'll cut it in half and do that much. And then we need to charge this. I'll use the condensed carbon and begin. So, ferrite dust turns into pure ferrite. Now, refiners are a pretty important part of the game. There's a lot of different types of refiners that you can get in the game, and they turn one material into another, basically. Um, and there's many, many different refiner recipes that you'll learn along the way. Also, when you're done with it, you can pick it up. So, next time you need it, you can just bring it out. So, okay, let's repair the launch thrusters. see what it wants us to do next starship repaired launch systems online all systems functional are we ready to take off use w to take off there we go and now we're flying now no man's sky is um you can fly in first person mode like this but if you press the quick menu and go over here you can switch it to third so if you if you like that better do that um, I kind of go back and forth depending on the ship I'm in. Sometimes you need, you're going to want to look at what it says on these things um, down here. Like this one shows your coordinates of where you are on the planet. And sometimes that can be useful to know. Uh, not too often though. But Okay, so it's telling us to seek answers amongst the stars. So here we go. We made it into space and this system's already been discovered by someone usually you don't see that on a new playthrough but okay so it's telling us to test the flight systems so all right so go forward testing the pulse want me to do it again I guess so. Okay. 
So there's asteroids in this game, guys, a lot of them. And when you shoot them, you'll get stuff. Um, so just so you know, you can do mining in space and make good money. Now, you can't hear it, but if you can see on the bottom right, I'm getting a phone call. See, there's an incoming message. Incoming transmission, right? All right, so again, I don't want to give you guys spoilers because this does have to do kind of with the main or one of the main stories. So I'm just going to skip over that stuff quick. But I, I do suggest you read it. And just so you know, that's kind of how No Man's Sky plays. Like, it, there's no cut scenes in No Man's Sky and voiceover acting or anything like that. All, all the story is going to be told, like, you're going to have to read it. So if you don't like stuff like, I mean, you don't have to read it. You don't have to do it if you don't want. Um, this early in the game, I would say follow everything it tells you to do. This is too early to just go off and start exploring. Your ship isn't, you know, upgraded enough. And you just, you, you don't have enough up. You're not ready to just go off and explore planets. If you do want to do that, though, you can do a custom game mode and make the difficulty settings to where you could do that. But I honestly wouldn't suggest it for a first playthrough. All right, so a lot of times it'll give you the coordinates, but then you got to use your visor once you get to the planet. And now it's telling me, okay, it's about 283 U's that way. And wow, look at him. So the visor, the visor actually has a few modes. Um, it's got this target sweep mode, which you can use. Not only does it automatically do it when it's sending you to specific coordinates, but you can use, say, for example, the catalog here, guys. So the catalog, um, you can look through here and be like, oh, shoot, where do I get uh, ferrite dust? And if you select that, it'll pop a little mission for you and show you in your visor where to get it. So that could be useful sodium we'll take that although i've noticed it's really not as needed in this relax mode as it is in normal mode so relax mode it seems that your hazard protection is a lot more buffed than normal mode normal mode you got to recharge the thing like all the time all right so this is what i was talking about you'll find things like this on planets and you could save at them and chart the sector um, but usually around these things will also be useful stuff you can grab. Got some sodium nitrate and some navigation data. And some more sodium and some condensed carbon. And okay, it wants us to interact with this. Alright, I'm not going to read it. But trust me, read it guys. It's fun. Okay, we just got the base computer plans and the terrain manipulator plans. So that's two pieces of tech that we now need to install. So let's do the terrain manipulator first, which goes on the multi-tool. So if we click in one of these slots, you'll see we now have a terrain manipulator. So we need two carbon nanotubes and a hydrogen jelly. So let's go back to our suit and see what we could craft. We could craft a dehydrogen jelly and carbon nanotubes. We need two and we have enough for that. All right, so we're good. So we could put the terrain manipulator on here. So what the terrain manipulator allows for is just what it says. You can manipulate the terrain. Um, it actually has different modes. You can create terrain, um, it has like a flatten mode a restore mode, you know. But one very important base building tip, guys, and remember this one, because a lot, I can't tell you how many new players make this mistake. They, they, they use the terrain manipulator to build their first base. Like they try and build it in the side of a mountain or something. 
don't do that because it, the terrain always grows back. So don't use the terrain manipulator to move, like to try and build a base on the side of a mountain. You never want to build a base directly on the ground because the terrain ends up growing back through. So anyway, so we're looking through the visor right now because we need to find copper because we need to make chromatic metal. So I'm just kind of, we got dioxide. There we go. We got a copper deposit there. So let's go over there. And now that we got the terrain manipulator installed, we can we can get this copper. Now that's frost crystals. That's an, another thing that's important. Um, but you can't get it till later uh, in the game when you get you got to get some special gloves. Okay, so here is a copper deposit. So we'll put on our terrain manipulator. We start mining up this copper. We don't. We, we only need 60, so we don't need to get this whole... All right, we're good there. All right, so now we got to refine that copper. So let's go back over here. Now, this is a sentinel. Now, the story with these things is... Nobody really knows where they came from in the game. This is the lore of the Sentinels. But almost all planets on the game have these. And these things can range from a little guy like this who doesn't really bother you to a massive Sentinel walker that will just destroy you. So those Sentinels, like, they're kind of like the cops of planets. But there are ways to shut them off. Um... Not permanently, but you can go to war with them. But early on, do do not. If you see one of those, do not shoot it. Do not go near it. Do not blow anything up around it. You don't want that guy on you. Because once they're on you, they're really, really hard to lose. You've got to hide from them. And usually that means finding a cave. Oh, look at that. We found an archive. Guys, there's an archive building right over there. Wow. Now, an archive building is kind of like a space station type of thing. Um, you can buy and sell stuff over there uh, and do some other things. Um, but, wow, that's pretty random. Let's scan this guy because, remember, everything we scan, we do get money for. And let's bring back out our portable refiner because we're going to make chromatic metal. So we need that... Um, where was it? The copper. Where'd it go? Okay. There's the copper. We need to recharge this and make our chromatic metal. But yeah, that's a that's an archive. Um, they're not super rare. They're kind of rare to just stumble upon like that. It's always cool when you find one. They're actually really big. Maybe we'll go over there. I don't know. Um, okay, so we got our chromatic metal. Which will let us construct a base computer. Now, base computer is what you need to start building a base. Now, this is having me start a base pretty early game we're only 33 minutes into the game important this base is not going to be your base for a really long time in fact in no man's sky you're probably going to have many bases for many different things depending how you like to play so don't look at this first one as like this is where you're stuck like if you don't like the planet or something like that don't worry about it because you'll be building a lot of bases this is basically a tutorial so, now that we have the stuff, let's build the base computer. We interact with that, and um, it's going to do a scan. And now, if there was any other bases from other players around here, it would tell us we can't build here. But there isn't, so we're going to be cleared to build here. And now the base computer in the early game is something you're going to be coming back to a lot. Because aside from allowing you to build a base, it also has these archives that you're going to need to read through. So you're going to need to log into this thing as the game tells you to. It's, one of, it's kind of one of these things. It's also going to give you blueprints like that. 
Like, we just gave us a bunch of building pieces. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is some... Um, it's not showing there yet, but it, it will show under your secondary missions. It'll show base computer archives, and when you see that, then you go back to any base computer. It doesn't have to be the first one you built, because like I said, you'll probably... You're going to have a lot of different bases as you go through the game. All right, so this is, you know, tutorial, basically. It just wants us to build that and now build three walls. So, again, this is a rubbish base. Now it wants us to put the a roof piece on. And now a door. And there we go. We got our first... Our zoo's first base. There it is. See? And now you go inside. And you're protected. And if you want, what you could do is you can actually move the base computer. If you go into your build menu and you mouse over it, you see there's, on the left it says move. So you could, if you prefer have it inside that way if there's a storm out and you're messing with the base computer archives you don't have to worry about your uh hazard protection going down as you're doing this because it's inside this little base here okay see extract plans it just gave us the um construction research unit now what that that's gonna allow us to do is buy new building things so that needs the uh all right so we need some magnetized ferrite so we're gonna need to use our por portable refiner again we'll just put it down here and we need to take pure ferrite do we have any pure ferrite no so we're gonna have to take ferrite and make it into pure ferrite and then make that into magnetized ferrite um so we could build the construction research unit so salvage data is this buried technology modules and you're going to want to dig those up because um that's what you need to buy things from the from this machine we're about to build there's a lot of building parts in this game, guys. So many, I can't... Uh, I, I don't even know how many. A lot. Um, okay, so now we got that. We can probably... Oh, no, we still need to make the magnetized. So let's put the pure ferrite back in here. Turn that into magnetized. So, yeah, this is definitely a good bit quicker than normal mode. Um, and I think it's because they basically buff your hazard protection and stuff like that. It seems like you move a little quicker and mine a little bit quicker. So, this is a great, I think, start for anyone new to the game. Okay, so now we can build this. So, if we interact with this online research buildable tech and this is going to show us a bunch of basic base stuff that we can get the base teleporter and see what it costs salvage data so that's why you need salvage data to unlock all these parts and this is not all of them guys there's even there's a there's actually a lot more than this these are just like the beginning parts so you are going to be wanting to get as much salvage data as you can in the beginning. So it's telling us it wants us to go find it right now. So this is basically tutorial, you know. But as you go through the early parts of the game and um, you're going through the story and visiting different planets, you're going to want to keep your eye open for these because you're going to need them for a good while. And as far as what building parts you should buy first, it's really up to you um, and what you want to do. Like, you know, there's a lot of decorative things, you know, things that allow you to build. You know, if you want to get build in stone, you need to unlock all the stone pieces and stuff like that. You know, so it's a lot of what you like. So when you dig these up, you just interact with them. 
And that gave us... Ooh, only one salvage data. No, it gave us two. They can give, like, up to four, I believe. Unless that changed at some point. All right, so there's our base over there. We can also name our base, guys. I didn't bother naming this, but if we interact with the base computer, we can name the base. Another cool animal. I think we scanned him already. Okay, so now that we have... Uh, one of those things, we can buy something from this. We can research structures. So that's going to be our building parts. And like I was telling you, there's a lot, in, lot of building parts more than this. And uh, yeah, I think that's all we can buy from this thing. So I'd say first thing to buy, the teleporter. But the teleport module, we can't use the teleporter until it's powered. So that's not something that we could do yet. So now it wants us to rename the base. So again, tutorial. Oh, actually, because we are playing in relax mode, it has the ability to have bases automatically be powered. So now if you're playing in normal mode or... Um, survival uh this is not the case you will have to build a power generating system to generate power but because we're in relax mode we don't need to do that so all we need to do is make some metal plating and we can build our portal we need four um we also need two carbon nanotubes um oh this game bugging out like that. Okay, now we can build the teleporter. Don't really have very much room in here, but whatever. Okay, so these teleports, these allow you to teleport to any prior space station you've been to, any of your bases. Um, these are very handy. There's different types of portals in No Man's Sky, but this is the base teleporter, but you can also find these in every space station to use to teleport back to your base, but you don't even need one of these at your base to teleport to your base. All you need is a base computer to teleport to your base, but um, having one at your base is very handy. But as you can see, we don't have anywhere to teleport to because we've not been anywhere yet. So... Let's take a look at the log here. And it and it and it's taken us through the tutorial wanting us to build the biofuel reactor, which we don't really need. But I guess we have to do it. So we got to get uh, some more buried tech. But I would say this is a very relaxing mode. I like it. And it probably just gets more fun as you play it. So, yeah, I mean, if you have interest in No Man's Sky and you you just don't want any real challenge or aggravation, this is a fantastic mode to play. I mean, because I'm still doing the stuff I would normally have to do. But um, it's just a lot easier to do it. And it's quicker, too. Did we, ever, did we hit? Yeah, we hit that save. All right, so there's two more salvage data. Like I said, it's the early part of the game. We're still, we're still in the tutorial. This is all tutorial. These guys are awesome. We call these proto gex. There's many different types. This is a knowledge stone. Now. What these do is these will teach you a word in in alien language. There's three different types of alien races in No Man's Sky, and you can learn all three languages. So that's something you'll 
do as you go through the game and explore planets. You'll be hitting those knowledge stones, get learn them words along the way. And that helps fill out, you know, different uh, stuff you need to read. All right, we made it back to the base, safe and sound. Wants us to learn the... Oh, I kind of buried my construction research unit back there, but... All right, the biofuel reactor is basically just a small reactor that uh, we can also get the wire. That doesn't cost anything, and we may as well get the save beacon. Now, this is just a way for you to make a manual save point anywhere you want. You can build that. Um, the wire, since we are in the relax mode, we're probably not going to need it very much because we don't need to wire up all our electronics. They will just automatically power in this game mode, so we don't need to worry about that. But it seems like they left that stuff in the tutorial anyway. So it looks like you got to do it and keep interacting with the base computer here. Okay. Da, da, da. Unusual thing from broadcast. It's telling us it wants us to go to the space station. Okay. Now we're getting going, guys. So where is our ship? There it is. Investigate the space station. So, in No Man's Sky, most star systems will have a space station. And in case you're wondering how many star systems, how many planets, it's virtually unlimited. It's like quintillions. It's ridiculous. Um, but there's different types of systems. And um, there are abandoned systems and uh deserted systems and sis so there's some there's pirate systems and those will have different type of space stations but it'll be a bit different than this this is your the space station you're going to see most commonly and space stations are very important you're going to be going back and forth to space stations all the time for many different things upgrades and all kinds of stuff um so as you can see, we're in the space station. It's telling us to explore the, sta the station and find life forms to ask about the mysterious signal we received. So what you would do is you come up here and you check all this stuff out. So I'm going to stop here for now, guys. Um, that's basically the tutorial in relax mode. Um, pretty straightforward stuff just go through do what it tells you to do we're gonna keep playing the save though because i'm having fun with it and if if you guys like following along please leave a comment below and let me know that you enjoyed this and if you have tips for the new players make sure you post them below let's get a bunch of tips for everybody who just got the game on this video if we can comment it below so there you have it once again, I am out of town. I will be back next week. Thank you all for watching this, this premiere, and I hope it helps somebody out there. Once again, I am Zoo from Zoo Games' YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for the support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.